Good morning, everyone. This morning we are going to go into a novel kind of subject. We can call it a psychological subject, or we can call it a philosophical, psychological, whatever you name it. Whatever your preference, whatever your likings, whatever your, whatever your choice. Title of today's subject is Consider Consequences before you act. Meaning is, whatever you want to do in your life, before you act, before you start, before you take first and maiden step, you think about the consequences. Don't plunge in anything without thinking about consequences thoughtfully, carefully, gingerly. If you want to plunge into deep water of the river, and if you don't know how to swim, then you first think about that. Consider the consequences that you don't know how to swim. And if you are going to plunge, dive deep into this water, what will happen to you? And your sanctum, sanctorum is going to give you the answer that you are going to drown. You are going to sink into it and you are going to, God forbid, die. God forbid. So now, in every single thing, consequences must be considered, consequences must be concentrated, focused. Before we pick up anything, before we start acting, before we act anything. Nowadays, in the college and the Kiki culture, campus activities, campus Kiki culture forces every, mil every millennial, every adolescent, to single mingle, dating, friendship. Well, we really don't know romantic friendship is there or platonic friendship is there. But first thing, every girl and every boy entering and enrolling in the college intends and anticipates hopes and wishes to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Now they will walk into the trap of this boyfriend girlfriend Conan drum. But without thinking the consequences, they walk into this, but they will not be able to walk out of it. There will be some blisters, some burning, some kind of blend blunders, and then they cry. No, this is the most foolish thing to do. Smart people always act before, I'm uh, sorry, always think before acting. And the simpleton always act before thinking. Repeat, smart people always think before acting. And the simpleton, which are foolish people, always act before thinking. So I have created five points to elaborate our folly, our foibles, our weakness, our frailty, our fragility, and our blunder, big, huge blunder, and then, subsequently, crying consequences. Point number one is, acting first, thinking next, next is a grave blunder. Whatever you do, whether it's a minor thing or major thing, whether it's a micro thing or macro thing, whether it's buying a toothpaste or a toothbrush, you always think about the consequences and if you don't think about the consequences, then cataclysmic consequences will have to be faced by you. So when you are plunging into business, plunging into marriage, plunging into love, plunging into only medical treatment. And if you don't have any kind of first-hand knowledge or declarative knowledge or procedural knowledge or heuristic knowledge or meta-knowledge or empirical knowledge, then you remember you are actually walking into the trap of devil. You are walking into the trap spread by Lucifer, and you are never going to be able to come out of that trap without dire consequences, desperate and cataclysmic consequences. Point number two is, sustainable act is generated by thoughtful thinking. 
think beforehand. Think be a few days before you are planning to act. Think few months before you are planning to act. Because the plan, because the time you take to think. And if you are going to plunge into any kind of plan viscerally, emotionally, sentimentally, without thinking about the consequences or thinking about the ratio of risk and reward, risk and reward ratio, then you are definitely going to shed, not tears, but you're going to shed blood from your eyes. Those people who are successful and those who, are, who suffer setback, difference is only their action, their planning. They plan before they do anything, meaning they think before they do anything. They're smart people. Simpletons are those who do every single thing and after that they cry like a baby. Point number three. Thoughtfulness, oh, sorry, thoughtless act shires cataclysmic consequences. If you don't think, if you don't even ruminate, don't ponder, don't mull about your future plans, or whatever the plans you have, whether present plans or future plans, whether these plans are about buying veggies or buying fruit or, or looking for a bride or a bridegroom, no matter the size of your plan, but most universal, most prevailing truth and prudence is, prevailing prudence is that you think fast. What market to go to buy vegetable? What should be the price of the vegetable we should pay? What are the prevailing prices of vegetable? Where we should do? go to find our bride or bridegroom, how much educated the bride or bridegroom must be, what community they should be coming from, what kind of genetic background that bride or bridegroom have, what kind of genetic maladies or genetic disorders bride or bridegroom <coughs> have. All those things must be minutely and gingerly consider before plunging into any kind of act. So action without notion is absolutely positively cataclysmic, detrimental, harmful, and it is going to devastate our future. Point number four. Success is sired by cerebral act, not visceral impulses. And most of the time, what happens, we look at the color of the dress and we buy it, wash it. After that, we realize that color is all gone. It, is, it has become discolored, be discolored, fizzled out, all the colors. Quality is gone, durability is gone, utility is gone. Because we were visceral, emotional when we bought that piece of cloth. When boys are out to find their bride. They just look at the face. They don't go into the background of the girl, where the girl has been, where she has studied, what kind of college she has studied, what kind of culture and nurture she has received, what kind of million ambience the college had. You don't think about that and you just look at the face and if you see the pretty face and you just you decide that you are getting married, that is visceral impulse. So now, such a significant, such a vital, such a cardinal decision must not be taken viscerally, but to cerebrally. Think, think, and think again. And then and then you actually dwell upon your decision, when every single thing is checked, verified, and verified again. After that, you actually make a decision based on the information, not fake information, but fact information that you have received. Dwell your decision upon that and marry that girl or boy, get into that kind of education or go into that kind of college and go into that kind of business, even buy that kind of hanky. Ten rupees for the hanky should also be bought cerebrally. 
and not viscerally. Anything in life you do viscerally is actually going to cause lots of grievances, lots of terrible consequences in your life. Every single thing you do viscerally is going to enable you to derive delicious dividends, cerebral things. Point number five, action bereft of notion is lackluster and redundant. If you are going to have any kind of action without notion, remember, you are going to fall flat on your face. You definitely are going to fall flat on your face. So never go for any kind of action without notion. Notion is like a horse, action is like a cart. So you put the horse before the cart, not vice versa. Meaning don't put the cart before the horse. Otherwise you are going to shed tears and blood all your life. You are going to curse yourself. You are going to repent your decision. You are going to regret every single thing that you have done. So if you don't want to be miserable, pathetic in your life, then use your cerebral capacity, never use your visceral faculty. Only cerebral things are going to be going to be harbinger of success. They are going to enable you to make success, to achieve success, to chase after success. But if you are going to follow your visceral faculty, you, are, you remember always you are going to be flop, you are going to be flunk, you are going to be failure. God forbid everyone. Be smart, not simpleton. Be always smart, not simpleton. Make your decision about even marriage. Smart way, not visceral ways. That's all the time we had. Thank you very much for listening. God bless everyone on this planet. Bye.